We are here at uh, Glasgow Airport, uh, really to see off the Commonwealth Games baton. So it starts its uh, journey uh, on the international leg of the Queen's baton, really. Uh, so I'll not just be seeing it off, but I'll be accompanying it on its first leg to India and to the wider subcontinent. Well, it's all very exciting. I mean, you know, the, the baton's off and running across the the, the 70 countries in the in the Commonwealth Games, uh, everything from India, the largest country in the world by population, to Tuvulu, which has a, a few thousand folks. So from the large to the small, all 70 countries and territories, the, the baton of us. And what a baton it is. It's a, and a baton which exemplifies uh, Scotland, exemplifies Glasgow, exemplifies the Commonwealth Games. It basically sends a signal to the rest of the world, to the 70 nations and territories of the Commonwealth Games that we're ready, that Scotland is ready. We're ready to welcome the world and we're ready to put on what will be the greatest ever game. So the significance of it is huge, uh, not just for those at home, but for the rest of the Commonwealth to know we're ready and there's only 287 days to go until that opening ceremony and the, and the games will begin. It makes me feel hugely honoured. It's a great uh, privilege for me. I mean, I'm a boy that was uh, born and bred in Glasgow, not you know, a million miles away from this airport actually at all. Uh, educated in Glasgow, raised in Glasgow, lived my whole life in Glasgow and to now be able to have the honour and the privilege to take the baton personally uh, across to India. In fact, my uh, great-grandfather's home, my grandfather's home, my ancestral home, uh, for me is, uh, is beyond a privilege actually. So it was great to be able to fuse our two countries together to continue that friendship between our two countries, which goes back uh, decades.